Hi, my name is Josh Krebs, and I am reviewing Angels in America Part 1 by Tony Kushner. And I'm doing this with a habanero pepper because I secretly hate myself. So let's do this. Okay. Mm. I've made a huge mistake. All right. So, act one. I chose a three act play. That is dumb as hell. All right. Beginning of the play, a rabbi is proceeding over a funeral for this woman, this Jewish woman, and he talks about the plight of the, an the Jewish ancestry who come to America, and he basically says that the people who have built this, this city of New York are gone. So, um, we then meet um, Roy and Joe. Roy is the epitome of all evil because he's a lawyer. He's been that all of his, all of his life. Joe is his, mm, sorry, his, uh, a judicial clerk. So basically Roy tries to con Joe into going to Washington for him. Joe says, um, let me talk to my wife about it. He says, okay, go talk to your wife. So uh, Joe goes to Harper, who is his wife. Harper has a problem with, oh my God, it's like Satan's pissing in my mouth. Oh. All right, so Harper is addicted to pills, mainly value. So he shows up, he comes home, he says, Harper, let's go to Washington. Harper says, uh, oh God, I'm jumping ahead. Harper hallucinates that she sees this travel agent and she says, I wanna go to where I'm by myself and fulfill this loneliness that's inside of me. Next next uh, scene, we meet Lewis and Pryor. Pryor um, reveals that he has AIDS. Lewis says, no, he gets all, I can't believe you have it. And so, um, go to, next thing that happens is Lewis goes to the rabbi from the funeral, says, what happens if um, you leave someone that's in need? The rabbi says, I don't know, you have to live with the guilt. So that happens. Um, so the next scene is, uh, well actually this is a split scene, so Joe and Harper are talking to each other. Harper says that she's lonely and she's pregnant and she wants to give Joe a blowjob. And Joe, because he's a closeted homosexual, says no. Oh God. Okay. Next scene, Joe and Lewis meet. They're, uh, uh, Lewis is in the bathroom crying over Pryor. Joe comes in and comforts him, gives him a tissue. I wish I had a tissue right now because I'm crying. All right. Uh, Lewis calls him a gay Republican. Uh, Joe says, I'm not gay. He's gay. And it's kind of a little meet cute between the two of them. So um, Harper and Pryor share a dream together. Pryor is dressing up in uh, drag makeup and Harper shows up and she says, you're sick. And he says, so are you, you've got loneliness. And th th that, that scene happens. At the end of the scene, uh, Pryor is visited by the voice of an angel. We don't know why yet, but she says, hey, you're, uh, you're gonna be a messenger. All right, so we gotta keep on going. Oh my gosh. Roy says, Roy uh, goes to a doctor, he has AIDS. The doctor says, hey, you have AIDS. The do uh, Roy says, uh, only gays have AIDS. You're saying that I'm gay. If you say that I'm gay, I'm gonna destroy your practice. So he has liver cancer is what he says. Whew. All right, continuing on. Um, Joe, um, Joe is basically closeted and he's dealing with that with Harper. Uh, Pryor and Lewis have a fight because Lewis wants to leave and he feels guilty about it. He finally leaves and then Lewis goes to the park to have sex with a guy. Uh, the guy feels uncomfortable and leaves. Oh my gosh. I've still got these notes. Okay. Roy's being disbarred. Um, and so he says to Joe, he says, go to, go to Washington and, um, convince everyone there to that I should not be the spark, which is illegal, and Joe says, I gotta think about it, but it's illegal, I don't wanna do it. He eventually tells him no, and Joe, and Roy flips out and says, you need to do this, you're a sissy, I'm, you know, fucking amazing, and you, you suck. That's not Tony Kirster's words, those are just my words I'm throwing in here. Okay, so, um, Pryor in the meantime is visited by ancestors who have all died of plagues throughout his history. Um, Lewis has coffee with Belize and he talks about racism. He's racist. We get it. We get it. We get it. Oh my gosh, we're coming to the end. All right, so 
Um, Joe finally reveals that he's gay to his mom. He comes out and he visits Lewis. Lewis and him make out and they go out. We don't know if they have sex or not. And then finally, at the very end of the show, Pryor is visited by an angel that says the great work begins and that's the end of the show. That's the end of part one. Oh my god. Okay. So, I don't know if I'll be back for part two. We'll see. Um, I give this play five out of five hot peppers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Five out of five hot peppers. Uh, if you like this video, I would say su subscribe to this channel so you can see more awesome videos by these guys. Throw out some good loving to Hot Pepper Gaming who basically do the same thing but with video games, which is pretty sweet. Um, I have a, a show myself that I'm doing on October 17th called Maniac at the People's Improv Theater. It's a one-person solo sketch show. It's crazy. You might get condoms, you might get confetti, but you're going to have a whole lot of fun, so come check that out. I will not be eating peppers during this, but there will be a whole lot of spitting. Um, and also there's Gas Station Horror, which I do at the pit also. Their next show that I'm going to be doing will be... October 25th, I believe, and that's at 8 o'clock, and that is a improv show devoted, devoted entirely to horror movies. I'm living on my own horror movie right now. I don't know what you want me to say. I'm going to get some milk. Oh my god. I hate you guys for making me do this. <laughs>